guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I am presenting this week's challenge for the Acrylic Pouring and Fluid Art Facebook group. If you're not in the group yet, go ahead and join. I'll put the link in the description so you can have fun with these challenges and join other like-minded awesome painters. The group is run by Massey Art Studio who will be giving away a prize for the winner of this challenge, but I'm also gonna add to that prize a little set of Mixed Media Girl pouring paints. So go ahead and join the group if you haven't already, enter the challenge, and let's have some fun. One of the things I will be teaching in my class in Dallas next month is called Wacky Pours, and I'm teaching the art of just letting go. Just go with the flow, have fun, don't stress about the end result, and you'll make something beautiful pretty much every time. So in honor of that, this challenge is to use 10 colors and black and white. So I've got 12 different paints here. These are all mixed media girl pouring paints, and I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. Feel free to use any and all colors that you want. You do not have to use these specific colors, but a common thought is that so many colors is just going to make mud, or just gonna make brown. So we're even gonna include some brown in here. This one's called Chocolate Magic. I've already got white on there. Now I've got some Chocolate Magic. And I'm doing a wide variety of colors on purpose. So here's some yellow, because if they blend, that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Here is some primary red. Then we're gonna get some pinks in here. And for this challenge, feel free to use any pouring technique you would like. I am going to be using a hair dryer for this. All right, here is some sapphire blue, which is a bl lovely metallic blue, just gorgeous. Then I have some meadow green. Greens and browns go well together. Greens and reds, not so much. So let's try to avoid putting it next to the red too much. Now we have royal purple. Green and purple go well, and purple and red go well. So we'll stick that in there. Kind of the whole point here is to really just not worry about it. Even go crazy, put colors next to each other that you think are just going to make mud. See what happens. And mud is not always a bad thing. So this is turquoise. Uh, now I've got some Garnet, which is a metallic red. Put some next to the green there. <laughs> I'm living on the edge. Okay, I'm gonna put some smoke gray in here. This is a color I typically never use, but it has its place. I think it's a good color to kind of fill in here. And lastly, I'm gonna throw some black in. So this, at this stage, looks totally like a hot mess, but I can almost guarantee you it's gonna be amazing. Almost guarantee, I can't totally guarantee. I'm throwing just a little more white in on some spots here. Okay, I think we're ready. Now I'm doing a hair dryer pour. I think that's gonna look amazing with this. I'm using a Remington hair dryer. It does have the attachment on here. I'm gonna use it on high air on cold, completely cold, no heat. Here we go.
I think that is just gorgeous. I'm gonna touch up my edges and then bring you in for a close up. So we have tons of colors in here, tons of cells and different lacing, different reactions. And even over here where I put the red and the green next to each other, still not mad at it. And you can tell we do not have a lot of mud either. Yes, we've got some brown and grays, but that's where I put those in there. <laughs> so even here where we had kind of a convergence of all those colors, still looks awesome. And I think this will continue to develop a little bit. We've still got some cells kind of popping up here. So have fun with the challenge. Use 10 colors, any colors you'd like. You could even use more monochromatic colors or you know, all cool colors, all warm colors. But I recommend you try to think outside the box with this one and just have fun with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see the pieces you guys make. Can't wait to see you in Dallas next month. Link for that will be in the description as well. And I'll see you all next time.